Perfect. So we'll bring everything together here. I've actually created another field to port over relevant to this form example. Uh, under more properties, I created a message field for deals. So I, I copied a description from this default contact field and I created a custom property for message and we have it set to copy the value over in this workflow. So now we're going to look at an example, a live example on this form. So if I go to marketing lead capture forms, sign up form and actions view form, I'll copy the link, paste it on in this tab here. And we will want to note the distinctions here. So this is an example of one submission on this form. I'm going to go back and submit again, uh, another submission, uh, here I will say six months, a separate test record. Um, and this will give you a view on what's happening. So if I go into contacts, think back to what we discussed at the beginning, there is a one to many relationship between uh, contacts and deals. Uh, so the second deal just came up now. I just refreshed the page and you can see the different amounts here, right? So this is a contact record view and this gives you deals here and here. So this is an association as it's known. So this is a deal that, and you know what, the automation, you can put dash and then timeline to invest here. So that might actually be a good tweak to the workflow automation. Again, it depends on your use case, what important information comes up, just an idea. So we want relevant information here on the left-hand pane of the screen. People typically read left to right. To do that, we will go in to settings, deals, record customization on the right hand side of the tab, and we'll customize the left sidebar. We'll choose the default view. Unless you have a certain plan threshold, you will only be able to edit the default view, but that's fine. And we can select relevant information here. So uh, we will want timeline to invest. We will want message. Uh, we will want the amount that should be there. So that's a pretty good starting point here is the amount under revenue. So that's a really good starting point. Let's hit save and close out of that. And we can also change the data highlights here too. We can choose up to four. I'll remove that last activity date and I'll choose timeline. And I will choose amount. Okay, so there's only four that we can pick from, and these two really come to mind. So we'll go back and we will view this again, and you'll see that there's some more relevant information here. So now it's easy and at a glance. And whatever custom fields you create, you can set them here under record customization. So that's the last bit. Once we're satisfied with everything, go back to the form in HubSpot under lead capture and ensure that the form is published and click share. And you have the option to embed it on your site and you can send this to your developer or better yet, if you're a developer, you can plug this in yourself. Thank you so much.